Good day, Bravehearts. You know what? We should sit down. Then we'll be even. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, sh- I'm a shorty. <laughs> this way, to... it's like, I don't want to cut Lori's head off. <laughs> there we go. Good day, Bravehearts. Good day, Bravehearts. Lori and Chalu here from Barrie, Ontario, wanting to talk to you guys about synchronicity today. Do you know what that means? Do you know? Have you noticed? It's always happening. Yeah. But do you pay attention? Yes. Uh, we, we decided to talk about synchronicities because I, uh, I was out for a walk a couple of days ago. Lived in the same neighborhood now for five years. Ran into a lady walking with her three children and um, never seen her before. She's also lived in the, in the area for years. And uh, went back home, did, you know, my thing. And went back out later to walk my dog again. Run into the same lady again. We're both like, how weird is this? Like we had talked earlier how we had both lived in the area and never met each other before walked in the same time all the time so we don't yet know whether there was a a purpose to that meeting but I do know that I will talk with her again because we had a great conversation and I think for me when I think about synchronicity I think about the time that I picked up my phone for the first time and I saw Dr. Daryl Wolf and then what that evolved into and then the time that I picked up my phone before Daryl Wolf and I saw beautiful Shalu talking to people about what was going on at the time in our world and how she had remained uh, open and active during that time and what it cost her. And I think about how beautifully synchronistic that those two meetings were for me. And we didn't even know, and we ended up at the same course in Kelowna, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew her separately. Yeah. We ended up going booking to, to go and see Daryl, neither of us knowing that the, either, the other person even knew who he was. And, you know, the, the beauty of, of the beautiful developments that have come from that in our lives, mutually and separately, independently, have been, you know, just really earth shattering i mean my life was was changed and i and again when you think about synchronistic things happening sometimes it's about being aware you know understanding that maybe maybe an opportunity that's come your way that you're wanting to say no to how about you just say yes just say yes for a change because maybe the universe has brought that to you so that you don't miss an opportunity and you're just like nah you know like i had to kind of pull pull somebody's arm to get them to come here today and yet I know that person that came here today is very glad they came. Yes, yes. Yeah. You're so funny. We're talking about synchronicity, and I see Ghislaine on here. Hi, beautiful Ghislaine. Hi, Ghislaine. And the last time she was there, we both felt that same thing, that there's something the two of us are meant to do together. Yeah. And, um, yep, we're going to do it. You know, uh, we talk about synchronicity and timing, right? Like I Divine look at, timing. Right? Like, oh, my God. COVID has been the biggest blessing for me, yeah. and it was so painful. It was so painful yeah. with my restaurant. Yet it's been the biggest blessing because it gave me the time to sort of sit still. And then the synchronicity of right in that time that I had all this time to do nothing with, that my father had asked me to find him a naturopath. And when I Googled naturopaths, I gave him the names, but because of me Googling that, Dr. Wolf started showing up on my Facebook feed. And then I was like, oh, my God, this man speaks my language. And then I, you know, I couldn't go take the course right when I first saw him, which was back in 2020. So I said, uh, you know, uh, I can't make it there because I have two restaurants, but I love what you're doing. And he said, just start your education now. Go to the library, come to the uh, practitioner uh, meetings each week. And and my, my learning already started. Yeah. And then on top of that, my father sold a property and gifted us money right in that time frame that I needed it to go take the course because God knows I wasn't making any money at the restaurant with all the shutdowns. I was going into like heavy debt. Yeah. And so it was just like, oh my God, like everything just fell into place, yeah. right? So now when you are just happen to be watching Lori and I, right? I see there's, you know, 21 people on here, right? Why is it that uh, you're on here right now? Yeah. Is it because maybe you need to come visit us for the Braveheart Healing Circle, right? It could be. Mm-hmm. And anyone that hops on later, why is it? Because, I mean, there's so many posts. Why are you seeing this post? Again, the answer has to come from you, yeah. right? Is it time? Are you needing to hear this message that it's time to learn how to fly? First, love yourself, right? Right. Yeah. And if you don't know how, because no one teaches us, 
No one ever teaches us how to love ourselves. You yeah. know, I, I mean, I'm dealing with people every day in the clinic. And if they just could forgive themselves, if they could just honor themselves, just love themselves unconditionally and not judge. Yeah. I literally had to tell the guy today to stop apologizing. He said, oh, I'm so sorry I, I, I yelled. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, first of all, you are here to heal yourself. Do not worry about anyone else. Your focus right now is you. And if you're in pain, that's all your focus should be, is you and your journey to heal yourself. It doesn't matter if you have a spouse. It doesn't matter if you've got kids, you know, other family, friends. No. Well, he hasn't yet figured out that that's a program he's running, right? That we all start off with that same thing. If we're nice people, we want to, con we con want to constantly be showing we, that we're nice to each other, you know, that we're nice, that we're doing the right thing. And somebody's feelings well in the, a lot of times it's because you're eating your own feelings you're you're, you're shutting yourself down and in, in order to honor somebody else instead of yourself first 100 percent. and and that's just a, a program that doesn't necessarily serve you and once you're in and around other people who understand that self-love is the most important Come on, there we go yeah. we're back we're back we lost it. <laughs> but anyway i think that i i was thinking of it earlier when you talked the, the, the restaurant and what was going on back three years ago and stuff and I, I think about the ashes and the phoenix from the ashes um, to, to me much of my you know if you believe in astrology and stuff I all the time have these things come up about I am a phoenix rising from the ashes and when I look at my life and the the, the things that I have come through through there we go See, we just needed the sun on the oh, phone. There we there, go. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah. Anyway, we were just, I don't know how much of that we missed, you guys missed, but uh, we were talking about, you know, in our lives, we can have the hardest and most difficult things to happen. Um, we either allow them to permanently take us down and, and break us, or we find ourselves um, a way out uh, to rise as a phoenix from the ashes. And in, in the Braveheart Circle, um, the healing circle that Shalou and I are going to be hosting uh, together um, in this November, November 23rd, through the 26th, any of you who feel like you've burnt out and that you've been um, taken down to a level that you just don't know that you can ever get yourself back out of it, trust us, you can. We have. We've seen it. We've seen it in many other people. Love yourself enough to permit yourself to look um, deeper and to go deeper so that you can rise higher because it's all possible. It truly is. Absolutely. So if you can't make it to Canada, just know there's uh, going to be a Braveheart Healing Circle in Coffs Harbor and also in Calgary. Sorry, so if you can't make it to Barrie, because Calgary's Canada too. <laughs> but yeah, so, but we, you know, we would love to see you. So come yeah. join us November 23rd to 26th. You can go to BraveheartNation.com and get the information, or you can call me at 705 828 two two five seven or you can call Lori at four one six five eight seven three nine five four and we so want to see you and meet you and make your life as happy as we've been able to make our own and happier. Yeah. Absolutely. Well you brave hearts have a beautiful day and we love you. Ciao. Bye.